Hello everybody, Deadrafter here and welcome back to another tutorial in my Sky Factory 2 survival series. This is episode number 4 and in order to complete some more achievement, achievement, achievement in the book here that uh, Bacon Donut provide us, uh, make Tinker Construct tool from bone or flint. I want to use bone, so today we are going to build a monster spawner over there. I prepared that little platform, I will describe it to you very very soon, but first I want to show you something very cool. I'm destroying this furnace for the time being and I'm making a 3D furnace, look at that. Um, it's an addition to this mod pack, Ooh, I'm doing this because just, just to show off, I want to show it to you. And we are cooking 8 stones because I need a few slabs and we are making another thing that we need for today. I'll keep just two of these. In fact, oh, look at that. How cool is this? You can see inside the furnace. That's why it's called 3D. <laughs> and I need a couple of slabs because in order to make the, uh, the monster spawner a little bit more automated and, uh, and efficient, I'm gonna need a couple of items called... Let's go see them. I'll keep cooking those. Let's get the slabs and I just need two of them. I like the bars. We are gonna use this, a fan from Open Blocks. And oh, I also need a couple of, well, let's make the fan first. And you make a fan in this way, two iron bars. Well, one iron bar, one iron ingot and one stone slab. And you get two fan. And they stack, thankfully. Plus we need a couple of levers, levers, uh, like so. And let me show you very quickly how the fan works. Uh, we can't put it here, well, we can maybe put it on top of the... No. <laughs> uh, fan, 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 when I can put it... Well, torch, you gone. Let's put the fan here, and then we need another uh, slab to put the uh, lever, because the fan, it needs... See, now it's working, and it's pushing me. It will push any entity... So it's pushing also the lever, can you see it? Uh, any entity in the range will get pushed. Uh, the range is 9 blocks, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take the fan back, because we're gonna need it. And uh, let's put the torch back here. Well, you can stay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna build the spawner over there. We are going at least 30 blocks away from a center, from the center of our island. Anyway, build it at least 30 blocks away. And we are going up, 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 30, no, 22 blocks. Let me quickly show you. Uh, this is a full block. And can I jump? No. This is a full block. Okay. See, we are on Y, uh, you can see it, yeah, Y68. And we are going up to Y90. If I jump, you see 69, 68. Let me show you with the F3. Uh, feet position 68. Uh, uh, 1, 2, 0 because we are on uh, on a slab. This is a cobblestone slab. But uh, but uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, it's the same. Let's put back those. We're gonna punch the monsters from here. And also prepared uh, some ladders. So we can go up comfortably to set up the spawner. And there we go. I will start building, then I will make a little montage of the of the process so you can see how I'm gonna do it. And I will see you well in a few seconds for you in a bit for me. Okay, our giant drop is ready. Monsters are gonna fall here and be reduced to half a heart or one heart, it depends. Sometimes it's half, sometimes it's half a heart. I really don't know how to control this. Uh, I used more or less, yeah, I already used three stacks of planks and 
more than one stack of slabs to build it. Uh, you saw how I did it. But yeah, you get the concept. Just do it, whatever it pleases you. Now we are going one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight blocks away. And on the ninth block, we are gonna put our fan. So there are eight blocks for the monsters to spawn in this direction and eight blocks to spawn in this direction that's one two three four five six seven eight and on the ninth block we are putting the fan so this auto refill e error is always present i don't know i don't know and uh, now we have a little walkway here so we can work and another fast forward to close off all of this and i will show you then how to put the the, 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 the lever on the um, on the side of the of the uh, see we can do this on the side of the um, of the fan so we can turn it up and I'll see you in a bit last plank positioned don't forget to put the planks on the top of our building because yeah uh, you really don't want monsters to spawn uh, on your head and they're falling on you while you're killing the one that you think they are safe so let's seal this off and i think we need more planks uh, more slabs to extend our little platform let's make a little bit more and uh, this is a bit dangerous but yeah more um, sooner or later we will remove the stair the ladder and go up here in case it's needed with uh okay good with um elevator block so the fan is next to this block so put a lever here turn it off and there we go we are gonna check i forgot i sealed everything already but we're gonna check that the fan is on just to be sure you never know and then we're going downstairs we are waiting a bit for monsters to start spawning and demonstrate that what are we doing actually works let's just double check the the fan that they are working let's grab those two back perfect perfect uh i just want to show you uh and tell you how, why I did this. Okay, if you just do nine, eight blocks away and one block uh, drop here, the two fans are gonna push each other, so they're gonna conflict. I'm uh, pressing shift or I'll be pushed downstairs. Uh, they're gonna conflict with each other and probably monsters are just standing here on the edge of the one block wide drop. So if you make it two blocks, should be, well, it's safe, it's okay, monsters are gonna fall and the two fan are not conflicting with each other. So you get the concept, now you can build it in the way you want. So let's go downstairs, it's time to try it. I'll wait a bit that monsters start spawning and then we're gonna kill them to get some loot because other than the bones, monster drops other good and interesting things like loot bags in the previous uh, mod pack version they were called spoil bags now it's different but the concept is the same so let's wait here a little bit it should be distant enough for monster to start spawning let's see
perfect, perfect timing. Night is approaching, and with the moonlight behind our monster spawner, we have creepers. We have let's put on a torch, maybe, so we can see. We have creepers. We have we have skeletons. We have a wolf twenty one. <laughs> bacon donut. Oh no, we are going to keep bacon donut. Damn it! <laughs> yes, because there is a mod that says additional. Oh, somebody picked my. Probably bacon donut picked my plank. <laughs> yeah, there is a mod called additional additional models, and some zombies spawns with notable Minecraft players. But that's good. That's good. It all works. So. Uh, thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you will make good use of this monster spawner. Well, you got the concept, so you can change it, you can make it yours and build it the way you want. Uh, uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And leave me a like and a comment to this video if, uh, if you find it interesting and entertaining. It keeps me motivated, but yeah, I'm very happy to play this because I'm receiving a lot of comments and I'm very, very looking forward to do something more complicated and very cool. So I hope you have a nice day and I hope to see you next time. Ciao, ciao.